Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, we're jumping straight in and I am priming the skin with my Nivea Post Aftershave Balm and I'm just rubbing into, rubbing this into the skin till it gets a little bit tacky. And then I am starting off with my eyes. Of course my brows are already complete and I do have a tutorial for that so I can leave it down below. But I'm just using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre as always because I love this stuff and it's just going to act as a base for our eyeshadows to stop it from creasing and hold it on for us long as possible then I've got my Morphe 35O palette and I'm taking that uh, shade in the center and just on a fluffy blending brush I'm just building this shade up in the crease as this will be our transitional blending shade as you can see I'm taking it in really really small circular motions along the crease to buff and blend it out and then I take it in windscreen wiper motions deeper in the crease if that makes sense then I'm taking this orangey kind of shade from the same palette and on a pencil brush I'm just building this shade up in the crease so going further into the crease just to add a bit of warmth and depth and then again on the fluffy blending brush I'm just going to buff and blend that out into the first shade um, yeah so we're just building up some shades and colors and adding a bit of warmth in the crease and then just going back in with the pencil brush and some more eyeshadow and then buffing and blending again so you just want to keep doing it until you get the intensity that you like then I'm going in with this brown shade which is right next to the orangey one um, in the same palette and then again on the same pencil brush I am just building it up in the crease and then going to blend it out as usual so just kind of doing the same method with different shades you just want to keep building and blending building and blending don't worry if it goes onto your lid at this stage if it's uh, a little bit messy it's not a problem as long as the uh, eyeshadow above your crease looks nice and uh, blown out then I'm taking this brown eyeshadow which is on the bottom row of the same eyeshadow palette and this is going further into the crease again just to add depth so as you can see I've built up some warmth built up some depth just to get to this stage here so I'm just using the same method with the pencil brush in the crease just to add the color and then using the blending brush in a bit in a second if you bear with me um, there, there we go to blend it out so taking it in windscreen wiper motions and then just to buff it out even more really small circular motions um, along the crease using a fluffy blending brush and then going back in with the pencil brush adding more shadow and then blending 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 again then we're going to cut the crease with the same paint pot that we were using earlier and a flat synthetic brush so I'm just creating like a semi circle shape a half moon shape on my lid this is just going to help the crease kind of be a bit more prominent and stand out and look a bit deeper by doing this. And then I'm mixing these two gold shades from the palette. Mine's a little bit broken because I received it like that, which is so sad. And they did send me a couple of replacement shades, but they keep falling out. But yeah, I'm just using what I've got. So anyway, on a smaller brush, on a small flat shader brush, I am just um, patting on the gold eyeshadow over where we put the paint pot and then just going back in with a pencil brush just to redefine that crease because we don't want to lose it. Then I'm going in with my Tarte Gel Liner and I am just um, taking small strokes along my lash line as you can see and kind of just building it up and yeah, small feathery strokes is always key um, and take your time with liner. I always, always get really nervous when I'm about to do it on camera um, just because I'm scared it's gonna go wrong. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it went okay. And then we're just gonna wing it out from our lower lash line and yeah, and just extend that liner out. Then moving on to the face, I've got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. So this is a just, this one's like got a bit of an orangey undertone to it. So I like to use this one to correct any kind of dullness on the skin and cover any pigmentation. And as you can see, as you can see I've applied that around my mouth around my nose and just on any blemishes and then just blended that out and for foundation I've actually gone back to using my NARS sheer glow foundation which I haven't used in a long time but I'm really loving it at the moment and this is in the shade Syracuse I believe um, and then I'm just using this big tart brush which is amazing um, to blend it out I'm just kind of stippling this foundation into the skin it's almost like using a damp beauty blender but in a brush form and not damp it's 
a pretty incredible brush and it covers such a large surface area too so you blend your foundation in foundation in super super quick and um, so as you can see I am just doing that I'm just patting it in all over and building it up where I need more coverage then for underneath the eyes I've got my NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger which is a couple shades lighter and I'm applying this as I said under the eyes just to highlight and brighten that area and cover up those dark circles I'm also using this to highlight other points of the face so down the center of my nose on my forehead also on the cupid's bow and also on my chin and then just going to blend that all out um, and yeah we just want to make sure everything looks nice and flawless So once you've blended that all out, you just want to go and set all of the highlighted areas that we've just done with a setting powder and I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and on a damp beauty blender, I am patting this into those highlighted areas, especially underneath the eyes because mine crease really easily. Um, so by doing this, it's basically baking. So yeah, it's just gonna hold our makeup in place and keep it nice and bright. And I'm going in with this Rodeo um, Insta Glam Banana Powder. I think it's called that and it is so nice and finely milled and it just brightens up the air area even more so i like to dust off the excess um translucent powder with that powder just to further brighten and yeah then to set the rest of my face i'm using this cover effects compact mineral um foundation powder in the shade g60 or p60 i believe and just using a fluffy geo fiber brush to buff that into the skin i like to use a fluffy blending brush uh sorry a fluffy powder brush um, to buff powders into the skin so they don't look so cakey and don't end up sitting on top. Then I'm using this Morphe um, like bronzer palette and I'm mixing the three shades at the bottom of it to um, yeah get the right shade for me and I found that by mixing all three it ended up being a bit of a contour bronzy contour shade which I did like and um, it was just a bit darker than I anticipated so I went and just bronze and kind of semi contoured with it um, in the hollows of my cheeks and on my temples and also down the bridge of my down the sides of my nose but then just to further kind of give that grey ashiness to the contour I'm using this rhodial um, powder and I would leave the names of everything down below so as you can see I'm just going over where I've bronzed um, just to deepen it up slightly and also taking it down the sides of my nose and just take extending it out as well if you can see and then just brushing that at the tip of the nose also just because I want to make my nose appear a little bit smaller and then for highlighter I'm using my Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop which I absolutely love and I'm so not overusing and I like to lay on my highlight I don't like to go all in with loads at one time so as you can see I'm just building it up in small amounts and like, it just looks so much nicer this way and it's a bit more manageable I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and cupid bow and then I've got this Morphe blush palette and I'm mixing those two shades in the center there and I am just applying this over the top of the contour and bronze and all of that on the cheeks just to add a bit of color and as you can see I'm just wiggling my brush in a bit of a circular motion so that it's nice and blended then for moving back to the eye sorry on my lower lash line on a pencil brush I'm just taking the last shade that we used in the crease and I'm applying that along my lower lash line and um, just to kind of complete it a little bit and then using a fluffy blending brush you just want to blend and buff that all out I really like my lower lash line to look soft and blown out rather than really harsh so I always like to go in with a fluffy blending brush to do that with and then just going back into the Morphe palette and taking a slightly deeper brown now on the same pencil brush I'm just going to build that on top of that on the lower lash line because um, I feel like it just balances it out balances like the top of the eye and the bottom of the eye out a bit better so just doing that um, just to further enhance the eyes and then for mascara I'm taking my L'Oreal 
false lash sculpt mascara which is one of my absolute favourites. I'm not going too ham with it because I am going to be applying falsies so just a light coat of this is fine, you don't need too much of it. Um, and then I will be applying some lashes from a new brand called Me In and I will leave the name and the style of them down below but they are mink lashes and they are gorgeous so I applied those off camera. Then I'm using this Huda Beauty lip contour um, lip pencil and I'm just lining my lips with this. I will leave the name of which one this is down below for you all but as you can see I like to start from the outer corner of my top lip and then kind of work on the cupid's bow just to get the shape and then for lipstick I have got my MAC flat out fabulous lipstick and this is actually the one that I wore this whole look is one that I wore in India and I can yeah there's a picture of this on my Instagram so yeah this is what I wore in Instagram actually on Instagram yeah on Insta and in India so yeah flat out fabulous all over the lips and then I'm just going back in with my Huda Beauty lip contour to redefine the lips and add depth again and this is the finished makeup look guys it is such an easy and classic look to do that will go with so many Indian outfits because they are most of them are done with gold embroidery and um, so yeah this will go and you can just change up the lips but this is the outfit and um, yes yeah, so it's green and gold and I've got my full set of bangles which I absolutely love but this is it guys I really really hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe and follow me on snap and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye